morning. Good morning, grade five. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Hi, how is how are you guys? <coughs> Fine. Fine. Where are the rest of you? Your science meeting just yeah. ended, right? So yes. They're rejoining. Yes. Okay. So I'm just gonna wait uh, two minutes, yes. and then I'll take attendance. Yes. I have a bad internet work, so if I left, I will. If I look, so my phone. If you lose connection, like just try it again. Okay, I'll try. Okay. Anybody hear me? We are they? Yes, are they? I can hear you. Okay, Miss. Okay, I'm just waiting for more of you to join. I'll take. Hi, Miss. Hi, hi, Mela. Okay, there's only 13, but it is now 11.24. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking attendance. So they are late. Yes, they are late now. Miss uh, Ebony says D. We are... Uh, uh, yes, I remember. Okay, so uh, no. let's do attendance, not to waste uh, time from the session. Uh, um, here. Hi, Amr. Okay, yes. Abdurrahman Ahmed. Okay, uh, Abdurrahman Amgad. Here. Thank you. Uh, Abdurrahman Atanahi. Hi. Hi. Okay. Uh, no, I just Miss I, what's your name now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Hamid. Okay, one second, guys. Mamdua. Not here. Okay, Mohammed. Mustafa? Okay, Omar? All day? <laughs> okay, Shlok? Shlok, are you there? Sabine, are you there? Yeah. All right, Sabine, what did you send me in the chat? I sent you like uh, some some words. You, uh, I think you you said the last time, uh, like they are important, like salmon and dungeon and uh, these ones. Salmon and dungeon. These are not my words. Where did you get these words? I think uh, the last time I saw them. Is I think what? I opened uh, my sister weekly plan. Yes, I think you opened the wrong weekly plan. Okay. These are not our words. Okay. Okay. Um, Shlok is not here. Salim? I'm here. Okay, Yasin Hashem? Yasin is Sadat? Oh, I'm going.
Yasin Sadat, are you here, there? Here, here, here. Okay, Yasin Edwini. Here. Okay, hi, it's here. Uh, thank you. Yes, I'm here. Okay, Yusuf and Lokib. Did I call on Duini? Yes, I'm yes. here. Duini, I called on you? Yes. Yes, okay. Um, Zin? Ziad? Aysel? Here. Okay, Habiba? Yes. yes. Yesterday I sent you the spelling sheet. Okay, dear. Uh, you uploaded it to assignments? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ziad, Aysel, Habiba, Hana Halawa? This is Hana Halawa. I sent you a spelling sheet yesterday. Okay. I'm here. Okay, Habiba. Uh, Hana Halawa? Okay, Hannah Sultan. Okay, Kenzie. Here. Malak. Here. Okay, Nurhan. Reem. And Sabine. Here. Okay, dear. So uh, we're going to uh, start with grammar. So please get your language arts textbook, your uh, notebook, and your language arts practice workbook for the first session. We're not going to read the story. We're going to read the story in the second session. Okay. Okay. Can you repeat the book so that the new students I'm sorry. Can I repeat what? Can you repeat what will we need? Okay, you Can need you your need, please? language arts textbook, notebook, and your workbook. Okay, and then the second session, just the literature anthology. We're just going to finish reading in the second session. Okay, today's lesson is colons and hyphen. This is a new um, lesson. Hello? Yes? Um... And her hand is uh, telling you, can you please accept her? Okay, she didn't show up to me before now. All right. Miss, I can't see your screen. Can everyone see my, can everyone, everyone can't see my screen? Yes. No, I can see it. Can see it now? I know Pedro. I still can, you can see it. Yes, 346. That's right. Thank you, Ade. 346 and 347. Okay. Miss, this is also about pronouns. This is um, a mechanics and usage lesson, um, but it is important, it's very important that you um, know what hyphens and colons are. Okay, so this is not uh, about pronouns uh, specifically, but it is in the pronouns unit. Um, we're going to read what a hyphen is and what a, a colon is. Okay, several of you use them but don't know the names. Right, so here I'm going to give you guys an example. Miss, okay. Yeah. I think I know it. Okay, pay attention. I want you to raise your hands. You can tell me the difference between these two sentences. <clears throat> Raise your hand on the screen if you know the difference. Okay, Ah. Uh, the first sentence, in the second <laughs> sentence, it is, there is a line that divides two words. Okay, so in the, second se in the second sentence, there is something called a hyphen. All right, Kenzie, do you know how the hyphen, uh, or, or in this case, what is the meaning of the first sentence and what is the meaning of the second sentence? Yes, Why do we do. add a hyphen? So the first sentence means he's a great grandpa, like he is great. But the okay, second one so is... So the first one, great here, is a is an adjective that just describes the 
grandfather, right? It tells us that the grandfather was great. He was nice. Um, so clearly yeah. the, gra the grandfather was loved, right? Okay, and in the yeah. second uh, example? Uh, the great grandfather is the um, grandfather of your grandfather. That's right. Great grandfather is your grandfather's uh, father. All right, your grandfather's father. Um, so here, when we add this hyphen, it changes the meaning for us. So it's not just that he was a great grandfather. No, he was a great grandfather when it's used as one word. So here, this hyphen makes it one word, right? Great grandfather. And this means that um, he was my grandfather's father. Or he was a, 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 the father of a grandfather. Okay. So he was very, he was, uh, he lived to be very old, right? Okay, please, guys, if you are not uh, speaking, keep your mics muted because there's noise coming from someone's mic. All right, thank you very much, Kenzie. Does everybody understand the difference between these two? Okay, so one describes the grandfather's qualities, right? That he was great. And the second um, is the grandfather is telling us that he was a grandfather's father. Okay. All right, so, uh, so what is a hyphen? A hyphen, like what is used here, a hyphen is used to divide a word <laughs> at the end of a line. This. Yes. Your, your, your voice is so low. My voice is low? Can you guys hear me? Yes, your voice is low. Yes, miss, your voice is not okay, low. Your voice is not low. Correct, feel you. Okay, maybe I'll you have a problem with your connection. Try another device. Okay. Okay. Okay, so when is a hyphen used? A hyphen is used to divide a word at the end of a line, and it is used to join the parts of a compound word. So here the parts of, uh, it joins a great grandfather, right? Um, but another way that you will see hyphens used is if, for example, you are reading a story and um, you get to the end of the line and there's not enough room for the full word. So the, they will use a hyphen and the rest of the word will be used in the next line. Have you guys seen that written before? Have you guys seen that? Use, yeah, multiple times actually. Yeah. And mm -hmm. sometimes I even wrote it myself. Yeah. Okay, so uh, when you are writing, when you are copying um, your notes from the board, for example, if you get to the end of the line and you don't have enough room, you'll make a hyphen, right? A hyphen yes. and then you will continue writing that yeah. word. Okay, so this is what uh, a yeah, hyphen yeah. is. The second part of our lesson is a colon. Now, what colon. is a colon? A colon is like this. Okay, this is a colon. Oops. Point to both each other. When I put <laughs> when I put the parentheses, it made a smiley face. Did you see? Uh oh. How do I? Put... There we go. Okay, so this is a colon. All right, uh, and it is used after the greeting of a business letter. <clears throat> you remember how we uh, learned yes, about- write this in our notebook. Yes, write this guys, write this, yes. Um, so remember how we talked about business letters and friendly letters, what was the difference between the two? Uh, what the, the business letters, business letters and friendly letters. Okay. Okay. So one is more formal than the other. In the business letter, when we write the greeting, dear Mr. President, dear um, Mr. Uh, Governor, right? Whatever we're writing, if it is a business letter, we write dear Mr. Oh, no. So and so. And then we use, we don't use a comma, we use a colon. <laughs> We use a colon for a business letter. We use a comma if we are writing, dear Amr, dear Kinsey, dear Habiba, so if we're writing to a friend, right? But if it is a business letter and it is an important formal letter, then we use a colon after the uh, greeting. And also the most common um, instance in which the colon is used is between 
um, the hour and the minute, right? If we are writing um, a time. Yes. Um, Miss, so I use this a lot of time, but I didn't know it. That's name. right. You didn't know the name, right? Yes, but I use it. All right. And to separate yeah, me too. hours and minutes. So, for example, dear... Dear Mr. President, right at the beginning of Miss, um, our letter, of and right now oh, it is yeah. 11, what time is it? It's 11.38 11 a.m., right? A.m., yes. Okay, do you see how we have the um, colon? You see how we have the colon? It's called a colon, that's right. Yes, to yeah. be like a... To know, like, um, do not like confused or something. Like, if we do not have these two points, we do not like say the number like correctly, or we co or could not like understand the number. That's, yes, we that's right. Especially for the time, if we don't have, especially if we don't have AM written here, and it's just like this, then this is what. Yes, how we one thousand one hundred and thirty-eight. That's right. Yes. Okay, so we yep. use it to separate the hours and. Uh, the, uh, to separate the hour and the uh, minutes. Okay, is this clear, guys? Yes. So this is what we are going to um, practice today, identifying the colons and hyphens, where, um, where we should add a colon, where we should add a hyphen. All right, let's um, start answering some of these Ms. examples Ms. together in the wait. guided practice. You're still writing, Ms. guys? Wait a second. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so look, guys, uh, on uh, page 246, right before we move on, it says here, uh, so we know that we use the hyphen to divide the word at the end of a line or to join parts of a compound word. Here we have some examples of uh, compound words. Great-grandmother, merry-go-round, 35. This is in the rule box, okay? When we are writing uh, numbers 22, 24, 35, 38, 37, we add a hyphen between the two words, but note that not all compound words have hyphens. Okay, this is under the rule box. Not yeah. all compound words have hyphen, like rainbow, like driveway, like grandfather, all right? But for example, uh, drive-in, uh, father-in-law, mother-in-law, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, all of these have uh, hyphens in the word. Okay, so with practice, you will learn which words uh, have a hyphen in them and which words do not, which words are just compound words without hyphens. Okay, Amr, are you finished writing? Um, yes. Yes, it's no, perfect. yes. Can we move on? Yes, yes. Okay. All right, so look at the guided practice on page two, uh, sorry, 346. Look at the example. Paul interviewed his grandfather at 6.30 in the evening. All right, 6.30 here has a colon, right? Okay, um, yes. tell me which, uh, so for each, for each number, you're going to tell me if it has a hyphen or a colon and which, um, so if it is a word, then tell me the word. If it is um, a time or whatever it is, tell me that also. Okay, raise your hands, guys, if you would like to answer. I'm lowering your hands because you had them raised before, I guess, for questions. Okay, so raise them again if you'd like to answer. Okay, Habiba, number one. Yes, miss. Mr. Salini wrote a letter to the president about com coming to America. Coming. Okay, about coming, that's right. So coming here, there was not enough room on the line, right? So um, it's, hyphen. it's hyphenated, that's right. It's hyphenated, excellent. Okay, um, thank you. Number two, Yasin Duaini. Yes. Number two. The letter explained that he had traveled to 25 in the morning, 20, uh, 25. Okay, very good. 25, and this is hyphenated, right? 25. Yes. Thank you. Number three, Kinsey. They first saw the shores of the United States at eight in the morning. 
eight. Eight o'clock, that's right. Eight in the morning. Thank you. Number four, Amr. And number five, Aysen. Yes. Does somebody have a question? Yes, Aysen. The immigrant, why 25 uh, have a colon? It doesn't have a colon, it has a hyphen. Because yeah, this is a compound word. Okay. This is a compound word that is joined Which with a numbers? hyphen. Um, Which all the numbers. numbers? After 20 has a... Yes. After 20. Yeah. After 20. Okay. Okay, Aisa. Can you stop? You will see more of these. Okay, number four, uh, Amr, and number five, Aysel. Go ahead, Amr. Miss, Miss yes. can I ask you something? Before sure. Amr Is it about why this? Do we put, why do we put a uh, hyphen between 20 and 5? It can only be written 25. It's hyphenated. This is the way it's I written. It's a rule. You, don't, you didn't use a hyphen before? I use it, but we use not the numbers. But what? But not in numbers. I was using it. Did I stop using it in the, in the so numbers? You, no, it's a rule that you should always hyphenate numbers when you yes. are writing compound numbers between 21, right? So 21 to 99. Mm -hmm. Except for, of course, except for 30, except for 40, except for 50, 60, uh, 70, 80, and 90. Um, so, so, for example, uh, 22, 23, 24, uh, 69, 68, 67, all of these should be hyphenated, okay? Okay. All right, number four. Me, yes? Yes. Okay. The immigrants cheered wildly as they slowly approach, approach, the, uh, approach the Statue of Liberty. So it's approaching. Approached? Why is it approached? There's, uh, it's divided between two lines, right? Thank you, Aysen, number five. It is hyphenated. It is hyphenated, that's right. Number five. His great uncle for joy as a ship near the harbor. Great aunt. Great aunt, very good. Thank you. Number six, Hadei. So on the next page, what are the uh, directions? You're going to again tell me which word has a hyphen or a colon. Go ahead, Hadei. Uh, all the children listened very quietly to their Grandfather stories. Miss, are you hearing me? I can hear you, yes. Yes. Grandfather. Grandfather is very good. Grand. Yes, grand. Grand. Okay, number seven. Notice how the word grandfather is not hyphenated. Yes, grand, we right. like we say about grandfather the isn't is hyphenated. Grand. Okay, it's only hyphenated no, because is... listen, so it so it is hyphenated because it is on two lines, right? Because um, the word did not fit on one line, so it is split between two lines, but the word grandfather alone is not a hyphenated word, not like great aunt. Okay, so grandfather, and here even this is on page. Um, so look here, wait before I move on. Look at the previous slide. See, great grandfather. Right, the word grandfather itself know? is not hyphenated. How do we know? If How do you know? This is with have... practice. This is with practice. With practice, you will know. So, because uh, you did it one time with the hyphenated and one time with no. Who did it with hyphenated? You, you, you did the first time without and the second time with. Look, I'm so not hyphenating the word grand grandfather. Great-grandfather, like great-aunt, great-uncle, 
Yes. Nice. Did you My notice that the word is grandfather is itself, the word grandfather itself is not hyphenated. When it's great yes, grandfather, we hyphenate it. My question is how we know or when we hyphenate it or when we don't. This is okay. So grandfather itself is all is never hyphenated. The word grandfather alone. When you add something to it, great grandfather, then yes, there is a hyphen. How do you know? You're asking me, how do you know if you hyphenate a word or no, right? Yes. Okay. So it's with practice. There is no way, it's just like irregular uh, verbs, right? There is no specific rule that you can follow. It's just with yes. practice you will know. Uh, if this is a hyphenated word or if not. And it is a very common mistake that people make. They don't add a hyphen when uh, it should be added. This has and... no okay, it's all right. It's, all right. Uh, it's a very common mistake that people make. They add hyphens when they shouldn't and they remove hyphens when uh, there should be hyphens in the word. So it will take time and practice, um, but you will learn which words have hyphens and which words do not. Okay? Okay, thanks. All right. Um... Slope number seven. Yes, miss. Mr. Keth met his future wife and his brother-in-law on a ship. On the ship. Brother-in-law. Brother-in-law. Brother -law, that's right. Brother-in-law. This is hyphenated. Thank you. Number eight. Anahi. You're welcome. Okay. Number eight, his sister-in-law was also on board. Sister-in-law. Sister-in-law, very good. Raise your hands, guys. Raise your hands if you'd like to participate. Remember, these are your participation points. Yes, yes. We always remember. So the same six or seven are the ones that always raise their hand. They are the ones who have the highest participation points. Um, I'm going to call on them again. Okay, so the next name here is Isil. Go ahead, number nine, Isil. They all sat together on the deck of the every afternoon at about four. Four. Four o'clock, that's right, four. Very good. Uh, Amr number uh, 10. Yes, number 10. My grandfather and his half brother enjoyed these afternoons. Half brother. Half it brother. Is That's right. Thank you. Okay, now part uh, 11, sorry, part B, number 11 to 15, you're going to rewrite the sentence correctly, adding hyphens or uh, colons. Okay, Yasina Duini, can you answer number 11? Again, guys, yes. I'm calling on those who have their hands raised. Okay, these are the ones who are getting all the participation marks. If you have to answer, raise your hand. Out his grand, great grandfather. Great and a uh, hyphen and then grandfather. Excellent. We're missing a hyphen between great and, and grandfather. We should write the sentence, so I'm going to write the sentence for you. All recorded. recorded. A tale about his great-grandfather. Okay, thank you. Number 12, Sabine. The story he had heard was about a long letter written in one nine one nine. Nineteen ninety nineteen nineteen. Have I answered him? No. What is it? So when do we add? Yes, uh, I a, know it. So when do we add a hyphen or a colon? Uh, Sabine, we add a hyphen when we have a word that is written, um, that is divided between two lines, right? Or when we have a compound word. Also, if we have a time, or if we are writing a business letter, we use a colon. So what yes, do we have I in see. this? Um, 
You want to ask a friend for help? Yeah. Okay, Amr. Can I say it? Sure. Um, I don't here, understand. Okay. The story he had heard was about a long letter. L-E-T. Um, so, letter, letter. That's right. Letter need to be hyphenated because okay because um, T E R is on the next the line, right? So we must add yes. a hyphen here. That is right. Okay, Miss, can I answer? Or I answer Um, your name is up. I have others to call in, and then I will go back to you. Okay. okay. Um, written in. 1919. Do you understand, Sabin, why we put a, a hyphen here? Yeah. Yeah, because letter is written on two lines, right? It's divided between two lines, so we must um, make a hyphen to show that they are to show that they are um, one word. One word. Okay. okay. Right, thank you. Yasin Sadat, number 13. Okay. Um, the word... Dear sir, begin begin the letter. Dear sirs, and then after a colon. Excellent. Dear sirs, and then a colon, right? Because this is a business letter. This is a business letter. That's right. Thank you. Begin the... should we write the whole sentence? Yes. You should write the whole sentence. The directions say for you to write the whole sentence. But if you only want to write the part that is hyphenated, that is also okay. Okay. Uh, next. Habiba? In the letter, he had asked for a job in a dry cleaning business. Um, after dry, we put a, yeah. a, a hyphen. Hyphen, excellent. Mm. Dry cleaning. Very good. So dry cleaning here is a hyphenated word. Yes? Who said miss? No one, oh, I think. All right, in the letter, he asked for a job in a dry cleaning business. Number 15, Kenzie? It was 8.15 before the story and all the review were finished. 8.15, we want a column between 8 and 15. Very good. <sighs> okay, now we're going to move on to the uh, practice workbook. Please wait. On page 69, I think. It yes, was 69. Eight, 14. Four, page 69. 69, yes. Miss Hanan. Yes. When this blank quiz will be posted? Two o'clock. Two o'clock and it will be a week. Thank you. No slot, right? What? Yes. You From two until uh, eleven. Two yes. o'clock to eleven. I leave it until the night. Yes, until eleven. Activity or quiz? No activity. 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 Miss, but the mark. Yes, yes. I forgot to ask you something, Miss. Yes. In the last. Um, in the last activity, yes. there was uh, there was something wrong. There was something wrong in the activity. 
Something wrong? So what was I, wrong? Yes. When I finished and I did everything, and I saw my grade, uh, it uh, it's it lit uh, it say for me that I did something wrong. When I open my notebook and see what I got wrong, I I see it, I wrote it uh, correct, but they wrote it wrong. Did anybody else Maybe notice you're a you're problem not... with the spelling? Yes, it is encounter. The word is encounter. Yes, me, yes. Miss. Yes. Miss, me. maybe they wrote the word the word wrong in the notebooks. It's maybe. easy word. Did anybody else word, notice? Miss. Did anybody else notice Are a they? problem? No. Miss, the the <laughs> ending of the quiz will be what what time the it will finish the <laughs> Eleven o'clock tonight. What? Eleven. Eleven. So any time from two to eleven, you need to complete it. Okay, Amr, I will check the question that you um, are talking about and I will look at your grade um, to see if a mistake was made, okay? Miss? Yes? I wouldn't make it uh, uh, until, uh, until uh, the, like I wouldn't make it on 2 o'clock because I have uh, a doctor, so I wouldn't. I told I you something, it... it's okay. It will be uploaded at 2 and you have until 11 o'clock to finish it. Okay. Okay. All right, ready to move on to the uh, practice workbook? No, please. Yes, yes. We have to. We're running out of time. Miss, Miss stop. Okay, wait, I'll take it a screenshot. Okay. One second. Quickly, quickly. I'm trying. Done. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, thank you. Okay, so we're now on page 69 in the language arts practice book. There are two and a half minutes left for the meeting. So once it ends, we will join again. Okay. Um, as soon as it ends, join again. Okay, good. So here, um, we're going to circle the word in each sentence that contains a hyphen or a colon. I'm going to write the words for you here on the screen and you are going to circle them in your uh, workbook, okay? And in the second okay. part, uh, you're going to find the word in each sentence that needs a hyphen or a colon and add uh, a hyphen or a colon where it belongs, okay? All right, number okay. one, uh, Hannah Halewa, uh, sorry, Hannah Sultan. Um, Randy, Loretta, and Chris, Decided to put together a jazz puzzle. A puzzle. Puzzle, very good. Okay, quickly, number two, Duane. Yes, miss. The puzzle was a picture of grow a grower up cat licking its paws. Grown up. Grown up, very good. Okay, next. Uh, I'm good. All right, next, are they? Okay, Miss. Great grandfather. Very good, great grandfather. Miss, if we read the sentence or just say the answer? We're running out of time, so it's okay if we just uh, see the answer. Um, if it is incorrect, then we will read the sentence again and choose the correct answer together, okay? Okay. All right, number four, Shlok. Yes, Miss. Again, guys, when the meeting shuts off, join again. Please. Air conditioning. 12.05, sorry, 12.05. Join again at 12.05. Air conditioning. Air conditioning, very good. Thank you. Okay, number five, Tanahi. Okay. Uh, complete, complete. Complete, very good. Complete is on two lines. Very good. Again, guys, join again at 12.05 when it shuts off now, okay? Okay. Number six. Number six. Uh, Amr? Yes, uh, one point, uh, one 